Hi guys, just thought I'd make a quick video about the pluggable USB-C triple display docking station. Um, really just one for you guys who've got laptops like me. So you can see here I'm showing you I've got a Dell XPS 13 and I've also got a Spectre um, 360 laptop and um, they both have USB-C power and data connections and the advantage of those data connections obviously is that you can put data and power through them so charge use your laptop and the perfect solution is obviously you just have one cable you plug it in it does everything springs to life powers your laptop connects to your data and your ancillaries and here's obviously a USB-C cable so that really in modern day times as far as I'm concerned that should be all you need just one USB-C in it goes job done laptop docked. Um, for some reason um, Dell certainly still provide you with individual power supplies and other things so I've been looking for different docking solutions. I've fooled around with um, USB-C adapters like the one shown on the screen now. This is the power supply that Dell provided me with with my laptop which as you can see is a proprietary power connector. So in other words to plug in, plug in my Dell laptop normally what I have to do is plug this in then I have to plug this in okay and that's an extra cable and extra hassle and actually also occasionally using the dedicated power supply and other docks that I've tried occasionally suffer from the dreaded plugged in and not charging message which I see um, so today I wanted to talk to you about and I never intended to make a video about this actually about this triple display docking station which I bought to try and solve all my docking problems with my laptops So if I never intended to make a video about it, why am I making a video about it? Well, the answer is because I actually think this is a really good device. I mean, I have had nothing but positive experiences with this, and I'll try and show you a little bit of that. Um, here's some data off the box. I've obviously been using this for some time now, and um, so I'm not unboxing it for the first time, but just to give you an idea of what you get, you get a dedicated power supply, you get um, a mains lead, that's the power supply for the actual USB dock itself, um, you get the dock itself. The power supply is a 65 watt one. You get a USB type C lead obviously to connect it up with. You get a DVI to VGA adapter which I have used at work because believe it or not my work we still use VGA screens in some places and this is the dock itself. On the front it's got a USB port and a USB 3.1 port, a headphone socket um, and on the back you've got uh, three USB 3s, a network adapter port, um, HDMI times two, in my case, a DVI, the inlet USB C, and the power inlet. There's a power going in there now. There is another version, and I'll show you on the website later, of this same dock, the triple display, with the display port on. So you do need to do a little bit of research up front to see what kind of screens you're going to connect. This one gives me the most flexibility because I can use HDMI and DVI. Um, but I notice increasingly now, particularly at work, more and more of the displays are D display port only. So that might be a good option for you. Make sure you do your research. Sits on the desk sort of vertically like that. Doesn't take up very much space. Obviously, there's quite a lot of cables and governs that come out of it. But the way I set it up generally is I just have it sat on the desk, ready to go, plugged in with a single cable. And then I just walk up, plug in, and off I go. Keyboard, mouse, two extra screens, network connection, everything just fires up. And I sometimes leave my um, my better quality wireless mouse with USB adapter plugged in the front. And then it's basically like turning your laptop instantly into a desktop. So um, we'll have a look at that a bit later on. But that's really the theory behind it and the reason why I bought it. And actually the function it does very well. Importantly, this unit's also display link compatible, which means that it can transfer the graphics and other data across the USB link to your laptop. Here's the power cable that it came with, in my case a UK one. Display link's important because you can just plug in a USB 3 or a USB 2 or a USB C cable and it should work through the screens connected to the dock and obviously that's the technology it uses. It requires specific drivers that you download from the website um, and has compatibility with Windows, Mac OS or Linux hosts. So it means that your docking station is basically a USB device that can be plugged into any computer and will provide that computer with a connection to all of the utilities and ancillaries on the dock. So it could be screens, mice, keyboards, network, 
all over a USB connection, providing it has the right drivers installed. So I've set it up on um, my son's gaming computer desk, and I promise you I've never used um, this dock with these screens, this keyboard, or this mouse before. So this is genuinely the first time I've ever tried this with this equipment, so we'll see if it works. Um, it's all plugged in and powered up, and you can see the USB-C lead there on the desk. The idea is you walk up with your laptop, you plug in the USB-C lead, and gradually everything springs into life and it functions like a normal desktop. Let's see if it works. So in our imaginations, I'm returning from somewhere glamorous with my laptop already switched on and wanted to use it like a desktop with my screens, my keyboard, and my mouse. So I've just plugged it in now. And hey presto, everything seems to be working. That was the HP X360. Let's see if the Dell XPS 13 does exactly the same thing. Yep, that works fine. Pluggable have a good website, and on the website it's easy to find just Google Pluggable. Okay, and if you go to the website and click on the products selection item, then what you can see is you can see the two different units um, that are the equivalent to the one that I'm reviewing today. One with the DVI and HDMI output and the other with the DisplayPort out outlet. So let's sum up with some positives and negatives and close out the video then. So um, as you've probably already heard me talking about, I really like this device. It served me very well over, a, I think, the best part of a year now, and I've been very happy with it. So on the positive sides, um, I would say good power supply with no charging issues, no plugged in, not charging messages, unlike many other docking stations that I have tried. Plenty of screen and USB outputs. Um, the display link works well if you want to effectively use this as a connection hub for any computer. Providing the software is installed and you've got the drivers installed, it works really well with laptops and desktop computers actually. Um, it doesn't take up much space on the desktop and it's been very reliable and with good compatibility as I already mentioned. If I was going to um, make any criticisms or observations about the unit as a uh, as an idea for some improvements I would say I think the looks are slightly awkward it's got a kind of a strange shape to it it doesn't look as classy as it could I think the branding on the side is too big um, and a bit ostentatious I think it could be a little bit more conservative um, I would probably like more connectors on the front once you've got um, a mouse um, plugged into the front. It would be nice to have another, at least another USB connector on the front to get your mouse and your keyboard connected into the front. Um, so I think more front side connectors would be good, although there are plenty of connectors on the rear side. Um, obviously the main criticism, I suppose, if you can call it criticism, is this is expensive. Um, but I would say if you're sat regularly, daily, at a desk, um, using a laptop as a desktop, moving to and from that desk, plugging and unplugging your laptop, and you haven't got a good USB docking station, it seems to me this is a good investment. You'll get what you pay for. Um, just make sure you check what kind of display outputs you want before buying it to make sure you get the right one. You know, do you need the DVI, do you need the HDMI, or do you need the display port? Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.